This video is about how to create governed tables in the AWS console through AWS Lake Formation. Governed tables is now generally available in select AWS regions, and this was one of the big announcements of the AWS reInvent 2021 conference. If you don't know what governed tables are, it's a new Amazon S3 table type that supports automatic, consistent, isolated, and durable, also known as ACID transactions. LakeFormation also automatically compacts and optimizes storage of governed tables in the background to improve query performance. I've been eagerly awaiting this release as it has huge implications for building data lakes for organizations. We'll get into the benefits and use cases in another video, but let's jump into how to create a governed table in the AWS console. So generally, data tables are created through the Glue catalog, which is the Glue service in AWS. However, for governed tables, we have to go through AWS Lake Formation. We're just going to navigate to AWS Lake Formation. Now, the next step is to navigate to the tables under data catalog in Lake Formation. And before we create this table, I just want to point out that you want to be logged in with a user that has the correct permissions to create a table. And you have this data lake location that you want to create your governed table in registered. I'm going to have a dedicated video for configuring IAM permissions to create your governed table. So please check that video out if you need help configuring credentials. Now you're going to see all the tables that you have access to and are available in your data lake. I'm going to go ahead and create a new table. So this is going to open up a new menu to create our new table. So the first step here is we're going to pass in the name of our governed table, which I'm going to call animal underscore locations governed. And now we have to assign it to a database. So if you select the drop down here, you'll see all the databases you have in your account. I already went ahead to create a new database called animals. So I'm going to assign it to my animals database. Now, it's generally good practice to add a description of what your table is. I'm just going to say it's a animal location table. Now, this is the key to ensuring your data is a governed table under data management and security. You now see this big blue box that appears, we have to enable govern data access and management. So by doing this, we're making it a governed table. I also want to point out that you cannot convert existing tables in lake formation to be a governed table, you're going to have to create a new table in order to do this. So now under data store, you can specify where the data is in your S3 bucket, or a specific path in another account. So currently, the data that I want to create my new governed table is in S3. So currently the bucket and prefix are in my AWS account. So I'm just going to navigate to that path. So now I'm going to select the folder within this bucket that I want to navigate and store my governed table to. And it's going to be this animal locations governed table. Now I went ahead in the AWS S3 console to create this table. Now I'm going to select the folder within my bucket I want to store my data in. Now if your table location doesn't exist already, you're going to have to create it through S3. So if I wanted to create a new folder within the bucket, I'm interested in creating my governed table, you're going to go into that bucket and hit create a new folder, add a folder name and hit create. All right, next, we're going to have to select the data format that we want our governed table to be. So as you can see here, we have six different options that a governed table can be. Now the data I'm going to be writing to my governed table is parquet. So I'm going to select parquet. And now the next step here is to configure the schema for your table. So we have two options to do this. We can upload a schema, which is a JSON file that has all our variables or add our column individually. So for now, we're going to add our columns individually. So my first column is my ID and it is an integer. I'm going to hit add. Now I'm going to add my next column, which is animal. And this is going to be a string. This is the name of the animals. Next, we're going to add the longitude column. And we're going to set this to be double. Now we're going to add another one called latitude. That's going to be double as well. And finally, we're going to add a date column. And this is going to be a string. Now, if you don't want to type it in manually, we can go to upload schema and it's going to ask you to paste a JSON array. So what this JSON array looks like is there's a name key and the value of it as a string, then we have type. And that's associated with the type, you can also pass in additional parameters that are optional, such as comment and LF tags. So when we're done with it, you're just going to have to click again, and the upload button is going to become orange, and we're going to select upload. Now you should see all your columns with the associated data types and any comments that you added associated with as well. And select submit to create our table.
Now we've successfully created our govern table. Now, in order to verify that it is in fact a govern table in the top right corner over here uh, under governance, you should see that is enabled. And by default, we have compaction and garbage collection activated. So over time, Lake Formation is going to take care of optimizing query performance on this table. There you go. So now if we navigate towards the AWS Glue console, which has our data catalog that has all our tables in our data lake. Now, if I hit the refresh button here, we should see that our new table has been added. And if we click on it, and you should see that the lake formation ASO status is true. Now, if we navigate back to AWS lake formation, and if we select our tables again, you should now see that this table appears and governance is now enabled. So now that we've created our table, we can now populate our governed table with data. So please check out my next video in this video series to do just that. Now, if you like this video or think this video is going to be helpful for others for learning governed tables, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time.